Hello and welcome to the first lecture, How to Succeed in Online Marketing Principles. When I teach this lecture, I like to use my I Tweet Therefore I Am mug for you. Uh, today, just to make a point, just in my hello lecture to you, I'm outside in my backyard. And um, just to make the point that this lecture, you're remote, you're virtual. Um, you might have a partner later on who's on the other side of the world and you uh, won't have to meet ever. You should be able to do all your stuff online for this course, except for the final exam. That's where you have to come in face to face. So the tools that you're going to need for this course to succeed is high speed. Um, unfortunately, I've chosen to do this outside today, which is good, you would think. However, there's construction going outside all freaking summer. We've got construction and beep, 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 and then somebody else coming by. And anyways, so you will hear that uh, sound eventually, because um, they're all around us. Anyways, what do you need to succeed in this course? You need uh, a couple of things. You'll need to have this outline and follow it, because it's remote, and your due dates are your due dates. If something is due by 2 o'clock on a certain date, we don't accept it at 201. The system shuts down. You can't you can't put it into your Blackboard system after 2 o'clock. And that's the only place we accept assignments is on the Blackboard system being an online course. Okay, and as we said, people are anywhere in the world, so make sure you've got the right um, uh, time zone. It's the 2, 2 p.m. Eastern time zone. And um, in, uh, so that's one thing you really want to make sure you've got right. The reason we have 2 p.m. is in case you're having any system problems, you contact your IT department right away. They're, they have been wonderful. They take a ticket number, they indicate what your problem is, and then if you do have a problem, obviously, we'll grant you uh, a deadline, uh, an extension we'll, you know, until your problem is fixed. And they send me the note that, that you've had a problem. Don't worry about it. However, we've been teaching this online now for, I think this is the fourth time. We've had almost zero problems if we had one once. Um, but we've really, and the one problem was actually the student not realizing when they start the midterm, they can't walk away and come back two hours later and their two hours was done. So as soon as you start, so your assignments are due on a certain date, at 2 p.m. is the date that we, the time we have cut off for all assignments. And then, so you have certain assignments through it, we'll go through the assignments. And then you also have a, um, a midterm, your midterm is online. Once you start the midterm, you have two hours to finish the midterm. You have one attempt at the midterm. So you can't start it and then, you know, as soon as you go away and come back, if you've signed off, it's submitted for you. So be careful. Uh, make sure you don't do that by mistake. So um, our, uh, the other thing you need to succeed in this course, so you need a high-speed internet connection for sure. And uh, because I'm outside in the sun, I can't see my mouse very well. But you'll also need the textbook. So do I have it up here? Um, so you go to my website, and on the website, which is sophiandreau.com, you go to the ebook, and this is the uh, ebook that you um, have. It says there's 20 hours of virtual tours, but there's actually video tutorials. There's around um, 80 hours for our class, but um, that's what I just say there. But that's, this is only $20. Uh, it's very inexpensive for a university textbook. Uh, it's an e-book. Once you get it, you'll receive a link. And from that link, uh, it takes at least two business days for you to get it. Sorry, maximum two business days for you to get it. We'll be trying to push it out as you order it within a business day. But it can take up to two business days. Um, and then when you um, get it, you'll actually get it from a email that says, no reply at Hogo. Uh, doc.com and so that's coming from the system we use and then what that'll do is the ebook um, and uh, pages are protected so you'll be able to download it twice so once you download it to whichever uh, device you plan to be using um, that's where you can download it and so once you want to download it you have to make sure you have Adobe on whichever device you want to read it on so you need Adobe the email that you receive will also give you the option to download the most updated Adobe if you don't have it. Um, once you download Adobe, then um, it gives you a PIN, one more email with a PIN. 
When you get that pin, you go to your Adobe, if there's a little blank where you enter the pin, and voila, you can access the book. If you don't do that, it's going to say each page is protected on the book. And so go through the instructions completely, and you'll find it works very well. There were some glitches in the book last term. A lot of people didn't um, understand that they had to actually download the Adobe, and the system wasn't as good as it is now, so now it actually works really beautifully. Um, so there you go. So you'll have the book. Just like every book, you're not allowed to copy it. You're not allowed to share it with someone else. Um, it's just, it's an e-book. Okay? So you need that to succeed because all the chapters in the textbook are actually also the same chapters you're going to find in our course outline. So um, you're going to find we go, we very closely, um, we completely follow the book. So the midterm is almost word for word from the book. Um, I need to do some of that for the course, but your assignments are more your creative. So there's a nice mix between the two. I have a great uh, uh, teacher assistant. Uh, his name is Thomas Hughes. He's the one that marks the assignments, um, and he'll be sending you a note about his engagement with you. Uh, he's, uh, he's taken this course some years ago. He's now actually a lecturer at uh, Fleming University or College as well um, and he's uh, he's been a fabulous addition to this course so so um, let's see what else okay the other thing you need to succeed in this course is uh oh here comes some sort of big truck oh my goodness how annoying okay so the other thing that you need to succeed in this course is the understanding on how to use LinkedIn and Twitter for class participation. 10% of your grade starting now for the whole six weeks. It's an intense six weeks. Depends on your participation on Twitter. I will be asking a question on Twitter and I'll use the hashtag number sign um, online marketing Bible. Let's see which one did I choose to use. The uh, hashtag will be here somewhere. One moment please. Uh, class participation I just saw it there it is class participation um, the activity there it is online marketing Bible is the hashtag I'll be using um, so I'll be asking questions my Twitter account is at Sophie Andro my first name last name and so I'll be asking questions from that account my LinkedIn company page is also where I'll be asking questions and my company's name is Sophie Andro and Associates so you'll want to um, so the way I'll find you on um, on Twitter is by you replying or mentioning me or by using this hashtag online marketing Bible but generally you're going to want to reply or retweet the question that I've asked with your answer I don't want you just saying nice yes I want you to actually have an intelligent answer probably linking back to another um, to an article so I've asked a question about maybe how do you feel about blank or what do you think about blank you can s indicate how you feel or what you think or you might even say oh here's an article that talks more about it so that's really excellent participation if the article is good I might retweet it out to my 2,000 followers so um, my dog has a Twitter handle it's live for trails um, I think he has about four or five hundred followers so you may want to try and get more followers than my doggy um, anyways so we're going to start the uh, participation now and it ends on July 27th. I don't mark anything that happens on July 28th. Um, if I ask a question, you want to reply to it. So if, if someone's just replied to one question or three questions throughout the semester, they might get one or two percent. If they ask, if they um, if reply to consistently, they'll get their full five percent. Okay? on the Twitter. So uh, let's show you on Twitter what I mean. So if you go to Twitter also uh, you can you can use whatever name you want. Um, so if I go to me, of course I use Sophie and Drell because I'm branding myself. You as a student uh, will be looking for jobs one day so you should have your own online presence. And in your online presence it should be professional. A lot of human resource companies go out and they start looking at people, they start Googling them. If there's nothing there, they wonder, well, at this day and age, did they erase everything because they were embarrassed of what they were doing? 
So it's good to have an online presence for yourself. If you can't, due to privacy issues, then create another name and put in a, um, a, another photo. Don't put in your own, put in one of a cartoon if you want. And then we are going to send out a survey to everyone in the class asking what your Twitter handle was. Reese Gardless, you need to follow me, so I'm going to be able to. So step number one is to create your Twitter account. Um, so you go to twitter.com and create your account. I have a video on how you can create the account. Step number two, follow my Twitter handle, and then uh, search for, if I go up here on Twitter, and I search for online marketing Bible, online marketing Bible, hopefully, because I can't see because I'm outside, I'm searching for the right thing. It comes up with all or top online marketing Bible, so can't wait to start my online marketing course next week. So Vanessa, you've already got brownie points. So, um, so you can see I can search for everyone that is talking about online marketing Bible. Uh, also, I'll be able to, um, if you go backwards, you can see what last class was talking about. But I'm going to be asking questions in this class from now forward, so you're going to look for those questions. So you're going to follow me. Those questions will automatically come up when you go click on your home. Anyone who you're following, all of their posts will come up on your Twitter account. Um, if I have said anything about your um, post, if I've said, you know, if I retweeted it, if I favored it, if I comment back to you, you go to notifications and you'll see anyone who's notifying or interacting with your posts. To search for something, you go over here and you click on search, click on online marketing Bible. To see what you look like, you click on me and you see what you look like. So again, I do encourage you to create your own profile, your professional profile for Twitter. But if you're uncomfortable, definitely use an alias. Keep your privacy to the level that you feel is comfortable. Um, okay, and then so that's on Twitter. Again, 5% of your mark throughout the entire year. On LinkedIn, you want to go to LinkedIn and create your profile, step number one. Again, if you're not comfortable, um, you need to you know, protect your privacy for some reason, create a fake LinkedIn account. However, LinkedIn is a powerful tool, and this is how most people are getting hired, not most people, many people are getting hired. This is where you really should have a professional uh, profile. So on LinkedIn, go to peers of yours, go to people you respect, and look at their profile. When you create your profile, again, I have a tutorial showing you how to create your profile. There's different elements on your profile, your professional photo, your uh, title, uh, your, your name rather, your title as to who you are. Your, who you are is not just a student. Who you are is, what? why would I hire you is who you are. Why would I hire you? So think of that when you write the who you are. That's really critical on LinkedIn. Really put down, you know, I'm, um, you know, uh, you know, think about it, look at some others. So this is your kind of one second elevator pitch as to who you are. You really want to think that one through. Then you'll see all the other elements to your, um, <laughs> to all the other elements to your uh, um, online profile. It's really your resume on steroids. Very powerful when used correctly. So what you're going to do is you're going to create that, and then you're going to find me by searching for Sophie Contrell, and I'm going to come up, and um, I'm already on myself, so I, that sounds very odd. But so then you're going to uh, connect with me, um, and when you try to connect with me, I will get an invitation over here. So if I look at all of my invitations, um, I will go through them, and then I will say accept, accept, and then um, and then we'll be connected. So when I'm connected with you, uh, what I'll end up doing is it makes it easier for me to mark your, your interaction and engagement on LinkedIn. So you definitely want to connect with me first. Um, I'll come back and continue connecting in a second in here. So once you've done that, then you want to search for my business uh, company page on LinkedIn. So once you've got my company page on LinkedIn, this is where I'll be asking questions. So you'll see questions on here, and uh, once I've asked the questions, um, then you can comment. So you can see here, if I scroll down to when I taught the course last term, 
and, and interactions. So these are people that have commented that were on the course last term. So I will be asking you questions on LinkedIn that are part of your class participation. I'll be asking you those questions on my company page. So you want to follow my company page if you want those questions to show up on your home on LinkedIn. If not, and you just want to come to my company page, you can do that as well and just look for the questions and then answer them. On Twitter, I'll be asking questions almost daily. On LinkedIn, probably asking questions just two, two to three times a week, not as often, maybe two times a week. And that really is the essence of LinkedIn and, and, and Twitter. Twitter, you can ask questions much more often. Uh, and engage much more often. LinkedIn is uh, a little less and you'll find that out when you read the book. So in order to understand how to help any business person, which is what this course is about, you need to know how to use LinkedIn and Twitter properly and speak the proper language. If you come across not knowing, you won't be respected in online marketing uh, circles. So that's one of the things I want to uh, have you understand. And to do that, we have the um, participation in this class all through uh, all through the class so if you just answer a couple you'll probably get one percent out of the ten um, but if you consistently reply and answer on Twitter and you consistently comment on LinkedIn it's an easy ten percent for you uh, I've had people in the class before saying oh yeah but I saw them all but I never replied or commented how would I know that so you need to comment you need to have an action and this is good um, exercise this way um, you're really living and working through the material in the course okay so um, let's see if you can't write the exam final exam when the everything on this course is online except for the final exam if you can't write the final exam face to face you need to contact Bonnie um, and she'll make other arrangements or there's an online survey that you'll be getting from the IT department who will also help you through that so you'll look out for that I believe that happens on the very first week of this course it's not something I get involved in um, so let's see course formats all online uh, first uh, lecture is this one we talk about how to succeed in this class we talked about participation on LinkedIn and Twitter you definitely can do it through your privacy you can definitely do it on an alias if you're worried about your privacy but you need to do it for that 10% no exceptions um, let's see I'll talk about the project in a second and create your LinkedIn and Twitter accounts I have um, uh, tu video tutorials on my YouTube account so you want to be familiar with my YouTube account I have a YouTube uh, channel um, that will help you through much on this course and um, let's see online so the, other, the first thing that's due on this course uh, other than your LinkedIn and uh, Twitter uh, profiles that you want to set up immediately is uh, assignment number one not till June 30th which happens to be next week already so June 30th you need to uh, have assignment one done at two o'clock that's where you introduce yourself through video as to who you are and again if you're not comfortable with um, yourself being seen on video you can always do a voiceover where it's just your voice and you have photos going on a lot of people have done that or you can have yourself uh, talking talking heads by themselves get very low marks you want to be creative on how you're depicting yourself that'll get you ready for your assignment your final assignment um, which is also done by video so again to succeed in this course you need to be comfortable with uh, you need to have high-speed internet for sure and you need to be comfortable in creating videos and uh, working with your partner usually virtually because you don't know where your partner is going to be in the world so assignment one is due two o'clock it's a very it's it, it uh, assignment number one is due two o'clock let's just go take a peek at that um, and then that same week I need you to declare uh, who your partners are for project number two and three you need to declare that by July 2nd you'll get an uh, you'll get a survey where you declare where you indicate what your Twitter handle is what your LinkedIn account is and who your partner is then after that um, our lectures continue we'll come back and we will um, 
Oh, let's see. We're going to assign you um, your business, your businesses. So what happens is, in this comp in this course, you have um, a business that you're going to see me interview online. So it's a it's a interview that I've captured. And that's what you can do your final project on. You're going to share with them how they can use any online marketing to improve what they said they have as a business need. This is really exciting because anywhere you go, they're looking to you as an expert in social media or on online marketing using newsletters or using video because of your age. They look at you and go, wow. So for you, you can take advantage of that if you can speak business speak. So this course is going to help you do that. You're going to see this interview, and you say, "Okay, so this company, they're a, um, you know, these, it's a DJ. So I'm going to look at other DJs and see what they're doing online. I'm going to see what she said her business needs were, and you're going to create a project and a proposal for them on how they will could leverage online marketing. And they're going to say how technical they are, how not they are." and then you're going to be able to indicate okay I can help you and here are the steps you should follow here's how much it's going to cost you but you also want to start off with what their business needs so basically they're going to say what their business needs are you know they're going to say I have a target market it happens to be in the Toronto area and I'd like to get more exposure there more clients there and uh, no I don't want them from London it's too far me for me to go and they're going to say I have a lot of technical ability but I don't know which tools to use or they're going to say I have no technical ability and I don't know which tools to use so depending on how savvy they are then you're going to create a proposal for them it's really a lot of fun that's your final final project but uh, so everything we do in this course builds to that final project so you have enough information to help them so um, so you're going to declare your your partner and then uh, let's see we're going to uh, online marketing so your midterm is online you only have one chance to sit down and take your midterm you can't sit down three different times because as soon as you leave the uh, blackboard it saves it so make sure you give yourself a complete two hours to sit down and do your midterm you have a number of days July 7th July 8th July 9th and July 10th until 2 p.m to take it so decide when in there is most convenient for you you have four different days that you, you can you have between four days to take it give yourself two hours I suggest you do it during the business hours during business hours in case you have any technical issues contact your IT department right away your IT department's fantastic they're there to help you um, just like your assignment one that's due uh, on um, you want to also for assignment one is due by two o'clock on purpose in case you run into any technical problems just uploading your assignment so um, let's go through this and your final project is due again the um, week of July 27th let's go down here assignment two okay what are your assignments so let me just put you on hold for a second and we'll go through what all the assignments are. Okay, and we're back. You'll notice the surroundings has changed because I've come inside. It was getting way too loud out there. <laughs> it was crazy. Okay, so now I can focus a little bit more. So you got the idea. It's a summer course, so you're basically going to be somewhere who knows where, and your partners will be as well. So what's what am I talking about partners? So assignment number one starts off, and it's due 2 p.m. on uh, June 30th, and that assignment, you're introducing yourself, and you're doing that one by yourself, because I want to know who you are. And uh, it also gives you the ability to understand how to use uh, video so I'm using Camtasia to capture myself here and whatever's on my screen some people use a little bit of Animoto a little bit of um, Camtasia other people are using Macs and they're using the video editing there so it really depends on what you want to use you may want to use the discussion board if you're asking questions as to what's the best Google it figure it out that's part of what this um, first assignment is is to help you get familiar with how to um, uh, 
create a video and submit it. So you're introducing yourself to me. That's all you're going to do. Complete it on your own. It's worth 5%. I'm looking forward to meeting you. And again, that's due next week. So the objective is that really just give you uh, an understanding how to properly use the video and use it on how you are comfortable. You can save your video as um, private. I won't be able to see it. I won't be able to mark it. You'll get a zero. Or you can save it as unlisted so when you submit the link, I will be able to see it. Um, or you can su submit it as public where anyone can see it. So you're doing it on YouTube only because it's easiest and it's a format that we can all see. So you're going to have to learn how to create, capture your video, upload to YouTube. So uh, some people say, well, I don't want my face to show. You know, I, I, I'm not comfortable with that. That's okay. What a lot of people do is they have images that come up and they don't have their face. It's just a voiceover. So you can do that as well. Uh, so second, your second and third assignment, you're doing um, uh, with a partner. And if you do it without a partner, you lose 10%. So we have over 100 people on this course, so we need to um, have people do it with partners, as well as we have only a certain amount of business owners that are here. So we want to give each of the business owners who you're going to do your final project on at least three projects, not 20 projects. So that's why we put you in teams. And it's an online course. A lot of your clients and your business dealings in the future are going to happen online. So you need to learn how to work online effectively in business. It happens all the time through Skype, through other types of messaging, through uh, I use GoToMeeting. So it depends on what you're going to use to meet with your partner. It will have to be online. You're going to capture the uh, activity that you're doing online. Um, so it really depends on your own skills that you're going to improve through this course which are going to help you in the future again through your online presence as far as your communication online but also how to behave and work as a team so um, you're going to find your teammates through Twitter and LinkedIn through the activity uh, you need to find them by July 2nd we'll pro post a survey for you to fill in to say who your partners are before July 2nd you need to submit both your name and your partner's name spelled correctly those students that don't have a partner but by July 2nd will sign you up and then we'll also uh, at that time you also need to indicate to me what your um, handle is so you can submit that you don't have a partner by July 2nd do indicate though your Twitter handle and your LinkedIn uh, name and whatever you've chosen to use and then um, uh, we'll partner you up so you will upload your videos to YouTube so that they're viewed easily. You're going to post your videos, as I said, either as public or unlisted. If you don't, then we can't see it and can't mark it. You will get zero. They have to be handed in properly by 2 p.m. only on the system, only on the Blackboard system where we have the assignment area. You need to submit them there, otherwise we won't have a record of it being submitted. Okay, no exceptions. So assignment one, uh, individually due by June 30th next week at 2 p.m. 5% of your grade all you're doing is creatively introducing yourself we had one guy last year who was a musician so he was playing he introduced himself to a song he created that was pretty creative we had another person that they were into all sorts of different sports so they had pictures of themselves another person that had various photos and videos of their family and then other things that they've done so 60 seconds it's just a minute and then in the video description, we're going to find in YouTube, there's a place for description, 300 characters, not words, just characters of who you are. So in all of these things, we indicate only to put in a certain number of characters and to only make something a certain length of time on, bit on YouTube. We stop marking at 60 seconds. We stop reading at 300 characters on this one. So anything that's marked, uh, you provide after that, uh, we won't be marking. Um, so that's when that that's all about. That's fun. I really enjoy knowing and getting to know you through the, that first one. Assignment two, you're going to have to have your partners again by July 2nd. So that gives you time then for your first assignment that you do in couples or in a team is due on July 4th at 2 p.m. It's worth 15% of your grade. So here you're going to choose a company that you believe is doing amazing on social media. Just an outstanding job doing their online marketing. You need to interview them, so you're going to contact them on your own, so you're going to do that quickly, and try and find out, one, what are their online marketing goals? 
Two, how are they measuring it? How are they measuring success? So, and three, how are they measuring return on investment of their activities? So you need to be able to then articulate that through images and through your conversation with them on your video. So the video is going to allocate marks 40% for professionalism, 30% for creativity on how you're presenting it, and 30% for making sure you're talking about the goals, their measures, and their ROI that they've talked about. So don't forget that piece. We had a lot of people that forgot to talk about the, how the company was measuring their success last term, so they lost a lot of marks on that. So in your text description, no longer than a thousand characters, not words, a thousand characters. So that's what you put in the text description. That's what you're submitting, no longer than two minutes. So at two minutes, we start, stop viewing it. At a hundred thousand characters, we stop reading it. So that's what you submit. And um, so what we have is any late assignments handed in or um, any late assignments uh, with four or more team, any late assignments, assignments with four or more team members um, will receive a zero. So we just don't have any late assignments as we know. Um, if you're handing in your assignment with one person or three people versus two like you're supposed to, we'll just deduct 10%. So that's kind of how it all goes down. Your workshop leader marks these assignments. Thomas Hughes, he's wonderful. He's taken this course and he's been a great help on it. Thank you, Thomas. So um, he's going to send you a note uh, with more details around that. So let's see. So your final assignment, so assignment three, your final assignment, this is the big one. This is everything you're doing in this course is building towards this assignment. It's due on July 27th at 2 p.m. It's worth 25% of your final grade. And this project is to be completed um, in, your, in, in your previous team of two. And in this project, you need to, we are going to assign you a, um, a client or a business. You would have reviewed that business. And in that business, you're coming up with a online marketing proposal for them. So think that you're writing it for that business owner. One of them is actually my own company. So you'd be writing to me how to improve my online marketing. It's a proposal, so you're always looking for a few solutions, three solutions, and in that, you're gonna indicate in phases, you should do this first, this second, this third. In that, you're gonna indicate what the business benefits are to the person. In that, you're gonna indicate to the company, rather. You're gonna indicate how they, um, what the features are and how they implement it and what the costs are and the return on investment. So traditional things that you've done before in your Mar online proposals or sorry in any of the projects that you've written in the past. How we're going to allocate marks is how you need to think about your proposal. So there'll be 20% for the presentation, sorry professionalism and creativity. So when you're doing your video on it, think of professionalism and creativity. When you're writing it, think of professionalism and creativity. Then 30% for identifying the business benefits and the ROI, if you can, to that business owner. So 30% are all about benefits. And then 30% is about implementation. Okay, now here you know the benefits. 30% is how do you implement. And it's based on the abilities of that business owner that it's for. And then 20% for one unique online marketing solution. So I want you to think of something that's really unique, that's just going to be, you know, uh, very creative and very effective but very unique for that business owner that you have found a great solution. So you'll want to uh, submit, uh, these are the deliverables, so you're delivering to us, to Mark, the five minute video which uh, will be an executive summary basically of your, of your proposal and the description that goes along with your five minute video in YouTube is just 300 characters or less. And then you're going to produce one written online marketing proposal, no longer than 15 pages, in a PDF format, so anyone could read it. It's got to be PDF. And include the clickable link to your YouTube video on the first page of your proposal. We'll be giving that to the business owner to use. So um, that's pretty cool. So that's what you're submitting. And the, um, let's see. 
it will be going to, and again, it's submitted, all like all your assignments, on the Blackboard. Videos, we stop marking them at five minutes. We start reading, stop reading them at 15 pages. Um, we deduct 10% uh, for um, any assignments that are handed in as with groups of one or three. Late assignments or anyone that's handing in with four or four, four more team members uh, will receive a zero. All, assign, all assignment questions, all assignment questions for everything goes to Tom Thomas. He's, a, he's accountable for all of your assignment questions and um, that'd be great. So again, don't be late on submitting that. So ongoing class participation, we already talked about that with LinkedIn and Twitter. Again, you can do that any way you like as far as if you're going to use your own name, which I suggest, or if you're going to use a, um, another name, which is fine if you're worried about your privacy. So um, here we're talking about the uh, privacy issues as far as if you are concerned about your privacy and you're going to create a fake account, just remember to go in and delete it after your, you receive your class grade. Don't, re don't delete it before you receive your uh, grade in this class in case I need to go back and remark anything because basically I go and I look at every single engagement you've had on Twitter with this class and then I come up with your mark. So I need to be able to see that. So don't delete your uh, um, account until after the class is done if you're going to create a fake one. So again, you want to uh, submit, we're going to submit to you a little class survey by July 2nd where you can indicate um, your Twitter handle, your LinkedIn profile name, and um, indicate who your partner's name is for assignment two and three. After that, if, we, if you don't have a partner yet, we'll be glad to assign you a partner. Really, this course, people have done well with it, have had fun. Don't stress out. Uh, I'm looking for participation. Um, if you say something that's not correct, I'll correct you. I'll reply just to you, so you'll see it. Anyone that goes to your um, wall will see it on Twitter. Anyone that goes to my wall will see it on Twitter, but it doesn't go out to my 2,000 followers. So you're going to get the hang of Twitter through this. A lot of people are saying, I've never been on it. That's okay. Day one, you're not going to feel comfortable. Well, guess what? By the seventh day of this course, you will feel comfortable. So just start. That's all you can do. So um, whoops. midterm is uh, it's a test that's online. It's multiple choice. It's all multiple choice. It's uh, online and it's worth 20% of your final grade and you need to be completed, you need to be finished by 2 p.m. on July 10th. You will have access to write it anytime from July 7th, 9th, sorry, 7th, 8th, 9th, or 10th at 10 o'clock at, uh, sorry, on the 10th at 2 p.m. your access will stop. So make sure you give yourself a full two hours, one sitting, and it's open book of course because it's you'll be writing it wherever you happen to be and um, it'll, everything on the midterm will be on the final exam as well. The final exam is going to be somewhere between August 4th and 5th in person. We'll be sending out a survey to you that will indicate are you writing it in Peterborough or in Oshawa or do you need another location. We'll find you a person to proctor the exam for you wherever you are in the world and uh, it's worth 25% of your grade. That's in person. Uh, if you're in a remote location, they may have you do it online. So, but don't worry, you can do it wherever you happen to be. It's three hours. That one is closed book. It's all multiple choice as well. It has everything from the textbook, just like the midterm does, all the reading materials, all of the class participation questions, as well as questions that have to do with the videos of the businesses that we interviewed. So again, we're going to have a number of businesses that I've captured in video that you are going to be doing your uh, final uh, assignment on. We'll be choosing one business for you to do your final assignment on. And, but the questions on the, on the final exam might relate to any of those businesses. So you're going to want to review all of those businesses. And we're going to put those videos on for you within the next week. Anyways, you'll we'll figure that out in a second. So, but the point here is your final exam and when it is, and it's in person, and it's closed book. So um, there you go. The policies, of course, um, uh, nothing can be late. No, 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 um, no cheating. No uh, copying. All that normal stuff that you in third year already know about. So your uh, online 
um, your, your blackboard is where everything is due. It's where your course outlines are. Um, and they may have been updated. I received a submission uh, from the Dean's Office approving it, so that's the one I have to submit. Um, so in essence, it'll be the same. So LinkedIn, we talked about that. Create your LinkedIn profile and then connect with me and then start answering questions at, for your class participation that I have put on um, that I have put on my LinkedIn company page. You can find my LinkedIn company page by either uh, searching for Sophie and Drone Associates and you'll come to my company page which looks like this. It has a, it says Sophie and Drell, um, and, it, and it basically, sorry, it has my Sophie and Drell M Engine Associates, and it has my cover, and it has all sorts of posts right there that you can see, and you can comment on, and that's how I'll be grading you for the class participation. And on Twitter, I'll be asking questions on Twitter, and you can either reply or you can um, uh, retweet. So if this was a question, and let's just go home. I'm on Twitter right now and say I'm going to search for online marketing Bible, which is the hashtag for this course. And I see if anyone's written anything. There's something that someone has written. As you say, I can't wait for this course. And I'm going to retweet it. I could do that. Um, now, it's easier to retweet with a quote from your cell. You can't retweet and quote on Twitter on your, um, on your computer. I'd have to actually copy and paste it in, uh, here. So what I can say is, um, so I've just copied and pasted her. So this is her handle here. And I'm saying, uh, looking forward to meeting you. So I'm replying to hers. And so looking forward to meeting you. Can't wait to get started on my online course with Sophie and Drill. And I'm just going to get now, as you can see, minus 14, it means I'm 14 characters too long. So um, I'm going to shorten this a bit. So uh, let's see. I'm just going to add some things here. Cannot wait to get started with my online marketing course. So I'm just going to take this whole hashtag and replace it here with there. Looking forward to meeting you, and so Vanessa cannot wait to get started with my online marketing course next week with Sophie, and so I'm going to retweet that out because that's kind of cool. Thank you very much. Um, so that'll go up to my 2,000 followers and uh, retweet. Or I could have just gone in instead and replied, which is maybe what you want to do to my questions, is I could reply and say, um, thank you looking forward to meeting you as, whoops, as, well, I'm just going to think I'm insane, so I click that, that just goes to her uh, page and to mine, doesn't go to all of my followers, so I could send that out too if I wanted to, so you've got options, you can basically go on and reply to me, or you can retweet, if I've retweeted, I can't say anything, just goes out to everybody, or I can cut and paste the whole sucker and go up here, so I'm going to copy that, and then go up to here with the plume and paste it and actually send it out with my own comments. So I'm not looking for you to, I'm, I am looking for your participation, so I'm looking for you to reply or to quote retweet, more so than just to retweet. Okay, and you're going to find out what that all means again, as I said, if you haven't been on social media before, it might be overwhelming a little bit, but you need to understand this world so you can properly help any business owners uh, in the future. Okay, so we have a whole video tutorial on my uh, YouTube channel. YouTube, Sophie Andrell and Associates. So on my YouTube channel, you go there and um, you can either find it by going to my website and on my website, you'll find um, up here, YouTube. You can go to it that way. My YouTube channel is youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Sophie and Drill. And then what you're able to do here is I have a list. So if you'll go to playlists, I have a playlist here of online marketing Bible. 
So in my playlist of online marketing Bible, you'll find 25 videos. On there are all the videos for this course, as well as Twitter setup basics to help you understand how to set up your Twitter. Okay, so that'll help you understand how to use Twitter a little bit, but definitely how to set it up. And um, my lectures are on here as well. And as I, if I change any lectures, I'll make sure it's changed here as well as there's a lot of uh, backup information all from the textbook all on here as well. Okay, so that's the introduction to the first course, sorry, to the entire course. I hope you found that useful and uh, thank you very much.